Investigators are searching for the man accused of attacking another driver with a hatchet. And the victim says it's all a bizarre case of road rage that happened in downtown Milwaukee. Our Jennifer Dowling, she spoke with the victim. She has his story. She joins us live. Jennifer. Good evening. That attack happened at the intersection behind me. The victim tells me that he was cut off. He honked his horn and threw up his hands like this. But the man responded by grabbing a hatchet. I've never been more scared in my life. This is what's left of Sean Van Walgren's windshield after he says a case of road rage spiraled out of control. Face got sprayed with glass. It started when a man cut Sean off in Milwaukee. Darted over right in front of me. I had to slam on my brakes, almost caused an accident. Sean says he honked, but didn't get a response. I honked one more time and threw up my hands like, hey, what's going on? He says at this stoplight, things escalated. He was apparently in such a rage that when he got out of his car, he forgot to put the parking brake on and the car started rolling forward and almost hitting the car in front of him. He threw the car in park and charged Sean's car, first pounding it with his fist, then retrieving a hatchet, shattering his windshield. He swung again, um, hitting my steering wheel, making a big gash in my steering wheel. He pulled back for a third time. He said, you want more? And I just, I didn't say anything. I just had my hands up trying to lean over towards the passenger seat to try to not get hit. Fortunately, the light turned green. The man got back in his car and fled. I've never felt more helpless in my entire life than I did in that very moment in time. John's thankful the windshield withstood the attack. I literally thought I was about to die. Um, I thought this individual was going to strike me in the neck and it was going to sever some major arteries and I was going to bleed out right there on McLaughlin Boulevard and not be able to say bye to my family. I mean, the thoughts that was going through my head was ridiculous. Sean says the man was white, 30 to 40 years old, around 170 pounds with thinning hair and a receding hairline. He was driving a gray or silver Mazda 3 sedan with Oregon plates. If you have any information on who that man may be or if you witnessed the attack, contact the Clackamas County Sheriff's Office. Back to you. Thank you, Jen.